like a Vucity Views logo? If you do, then you might want to buy a t-shirt with the channel's logo. Just head to geekygoodies.com slash Reviews and grab a t-shirt for yourself or your friends. By buying Vucity Views t-shirts, you are supporting the channel, and I'm thankful for that. And don't forget that you can also support the channel through Patreon. Just head to patreon.com slash Reviews and choose the reward level that suits you best. Your support means a lot. With enough support, this channel will continue providing you with the content and you will be able to contribute to that as well. Thank you to everyone who watches and supports the channel. Hello there folks, welcome to the first impression series where I talk about the games that I have played only once so far. And for the note, this is not a review, this is the first impressions. Now, today we're talking about Pony Kingdom, uh, it's from Richard Garfield and Yellow. And uh, first of all, what I'm going to talk about is that um, this game has a really nice artwork, components and such, so everything looks nice, everything is well produced. But there is a small issue, um, the board uh, is too small, because uh, when you play with four players and then the board becomes really crowded, it's really hard to see all the spaces and such, so it's a bit too small for, for the board. But I heard that there is at least I googled that there is a, a bigger board that you have to buy um, so they kind of uh, saw that this board is too small I don't know why didn't they um, get it in the in the playtesting uh, just and now people have to buy the bigger board and I kind of feel like come on come on you should have really like done something different before it was released so that's um, a negative for me but First of all, but, uh, about the game itself. So this is a area control drafting game. Uh, so you draft cards and those cards are mostly the locations of um, where you can put your bunnies out. There's a kind of a grid, uh, which the board is kind of a grid. So uh, there's a card called A9 or, or um, I4. So you're gonna put your bunnies out there if you play those cards. And they're trying to control the territories with those bunnies and create thieves. And uh, you're gonna score points based on how many different resources you control in those territories and how many towers uh, you control in, in those territories. You multiply and then you get the scoring. Uh, there are also some cards which are straight points at the end of the game. So if you, whatever the text says, if at the end of the game I control nine fish resources, I'll get those extra points and so on. So there are all the different like end game conditions as well. And there are some special cards, which are farms, which are extra resources. And uh, of course you build cities with those cards and such, so the, the new towers and such. So, so you can multiply your scores to better and such. So there are also the sky tower tokens where, and with which I kind of um, feel like it's a bit overpowered. Whoever gets the sky tower, if like, because at the beginning you all, um, you, sh you shuffle the cards and you deal out the cards, uh, 10 or 12 cards depending on the number of players, to each player and then you will choose two cards and then pass the other cards uh, to the left or to the right depending on, on the uh, round number and yeah and, and so if, if in, in your first hand you're gonna get the sky tower you should get it I mean what, what does it do uh, so basically uh, you're creating those groups of um, bunnies with towers and resources but you can create the different ones in different locations so so you can score here and you can score there. Well, with Sky Tower, you can, what you can do, you can create eight, um, a, a bigger thief, or you can kind of, basically you can connect the, the two groups which are not connected orthogonally uh, with each other through the land. You can, can kind of connect them through the sky by putting those tokens out there in two different uh, thieves or groups, and then they're gonna be connected for the scoring, and then you're gonna score kind of a, like, as one group, not two different. So. And whoever gets it, it's, it's really powerful, so I feel a bit, it's a little bit overpowered, so... But um, that's, that's that. The, the, uh, the game itself, so you're gonna put out those bunnies, you're gonna create those uh, territories. And um, it's very light-hearted. Um, I don't really know what to think about the game itself. Um, it's maybe a little bit too light-hearted for me. Um, and on the other hand, it has that randomness as well in drafting, of course, but... On the other hand, the, the, the drafting itself mitigates that random uh, dealing out of the cards. So that's that's that. And uh, yeah, sometimes you get um, lucky with some of the cards which are like... You get a card which is uh, the end game scoring and it kind of fits your style or fits your strategy so far very well, you know. It's like you're almost like ah, eight fish, but you didn't really go towards that, but you 
got that. So I'm like, no, I'm gonna get this endgame condition card. So it, it has some randomness. It doesn't have too much of this strategy. You have to see what, what cards you get and then go from there and hope for the best. Uh, but yeah, it, it, I, f I feel like it, it, this is the game that is good for the families because it looks nice. Um, of course, you need a bigger board and I think the, the, the new print run has the bigger boards as well. So they kind of uh, try to solve the problem as quick as possible. That's, that's good. And um, it, except for from farms where if you put out your farm, this is like a temporary, um, temporary spot for use, but somebody... Um, can uh, well, with with the usual uh, coordination card, somebody can go there and basically destroy a farm. Except from that, and this is the risk that you know you're gonna uh, you're gonna get into. There is no ex maybe blocking as well, but it's lighthearted as well. So there's not much of that uh, screwing with each other or, or walking <laughs> on each other. So it's it doesn't have too much of this kind of. Um, because it's an area control and you kind of feel like oh it's if it's area control then you kind of fight with each other but here not I mean it's all about just creating those thieves territories and scoring points so overly um, I don't feel this game is for me um, but I can see it playing with some people but this game is kind of abstractish the, the, the uh, one of the big negatives is the scoring itself because uh, further into the game the ball becomes really crowded and it's really hard to score, so I don't know what to say more about the game. It's just, the, the, the feel of it, it's, it's just too light for me and the drafting is a bit too random for me. Because I might get the right coordination cards, I might not, and some I don't like the Sky Towers that much. And um, of course they kind of mitigate the luck of the cards itself, but I don't know, maybe some other way. And, and yeah. It just, it didn't grab me, that's the thing. I, I don't know what else to say. So that was Bunny Kingdoms, first impression of those. Uh, and thank you for watching, we'll see you another time. Bye bye. This channel is sponsored by Osprey Games. Check them out at ospreypublishing.com.